Breaking business news this morning and certainly a nightmare for people who have booked a flight on the budget carrier WOW Airlines. The Icelandic company has ceased operations, has grounded all of its planes, including scheduled flights from Toronto and Montreal last night. And as Scott Peterson joins us, uh, the details, what we're hearing so far is the airline, Scott, pretty much leaving passengers to fend for themselves. Yeah, they are indeed. And so all 29 flights uh, in Europe have been grounded. Uh, this is affecting about 2,700 passengers that are left, as you said, to fend for themselves, try to arrange alternatives. We do know that Canadians are involved here, uh, but this is a, a company has grounded all of its 11 planes. It means about a thousand jobs, and these are multiple cities across Europe. Last night, there were six planes that were grounded in North America, included, as you mentioned, Montreal and Toronto. And for the last few months, this company has been trying to refinance about $160 million they were seeking for financing. That did not come through, and so this is why they pulled the plug and grounded these airlines. This company got its start. Uh, um, back in 2011 as a low-cost alternative to Iceland Air, based in Iceland, of course, and the profit just couldn't keep up with the growing expenses for this company, so them doing the drastic thing, grounding all their aircrafts this morning and stranding 2,700 passengers, and that's just this morning, Heather. And we're going to talk to one such passenger in just a second, Scott, but I'm wondering what is the airline advising the people who had tickets to do? Well, they are sort of trying to clean their hands of this, sort of advise people to fend for themselves and look for alternatives. One, if people have flight insurance, they've bought that, they could be covered with that. If they're buying it on a credit card, sometimes that will offer insurance, so people should look there. But any claims, and this is from WOW Airlines directly, saying any claims against the company could potentially go to the liquidation process, and that would take months, if not years, before anybody saw anything on that. But they also advise to look for other airlines for so-called rescue fares and this is where other airlines come in uh, and offer discount fares so really you get the sense that a lot of people are going to be looking for alternatives all in their own Heather. Well let us find out one person who is doing just that Scott thank you very much because as we mentioned many people who had flights booked with WOW have uh, received that bad news today including our guest Alex Spence a Canadian who lives in Toronto but she's in Berlin at a conference flew in on WOW was expecting to fly home on WOW on Saturday. Alex, good morning to you. Are you hearing me okay? Good morning, Heather. I can. Well, listen, I'm sorry for the pickle in which you find yourself. How did you learn what was going on with your airline? <laughs> well, I was about to go up to give my presentation at a conference on AI and healthcare at the Canadian Embassy, and I was scrolling through Twitter and doing some tweeting and saw a Bloomberg headline showing that WOW Air had uh, filed for bankruptcy, essentially, and that all planes were grounded. So first, I wasn't really sure what I was seeing, if I was imagining it, and uh, it clicked right away that I was suddenly going to have to find an alternative. Oh, my goodness. There's your tweet. We put it up in the in, on our screen so that people can see. And so you find yourself with no way back. Number one, let me just ask, have you heard anything? Haven't received any email regarding this or any notice of a refund? So nothing from the company, Alex? Uh, I have heard absolutely nothing from WOW Air, uh, but this earlier this week I did receive quite a few emails encouraging me to upgrade my seat or check more, check more bags. So they were definitely active in asking for more money the past few days, um, and I had no no knowledge of this being an incoming issue. Huh, no hint at all that uh, the, the company might no. be in trouble? No, and I work in the tech and the health space, so I'm not very much following what's going on with the airlines and now I feel as if I should have been. So what are your options then to get home? Uh, well, as I'm at a conference right now, it's a little hard to jump online and start booking, uh, but I'm going to have to get out as soon as possible and start finding a new flight, ideally something that's not going to be prohibitively expensive considering the fact that it's so last minute. Yes, I was saying it. This may very well end up costing you quite a, quite a bit more. Is that going to be that's going to be a little bit of a hit to you and your company? I would imagine. Absolutely, and also there's so many other factors. If I can't get a flight home on Saturday, it's looking for new accommodation. There are just so many different pieces that come into play here, and I uh, really wish I'd had some some notice or at least a final confirmation from them, um, given that that's already out. Yeah, how does this whole experience make you feel? Um, about flying and about this company in particular, but maybe in general? Well, you know, it's funny. I've flown with WOW before, and I, it, given that it's a budget airline, I always had very good experiences with them. So this was not exactly what I expected 
to occur with them. I know that this has happened to other budget airlines, but it just never struck me as an option. Uh, and I definitely feel kind of left out in the cold right now. Well, Alex, I hope once everything is finished and settled with your conference and you get some time to, to search for something, I hope you can find something suitable to get home. We'll keep in touch and find out how, you're, how, oh. how this all goes for you. Thank you for talking to me this morning. Thanks, Heather. Really appreciate it. That's Alex Spence, who is a Canadian in Berlin. How she gets home from Berlin, very much up in the air this morning. We'll have more on that to come.